everyone loved the Cats movie. Critics praised the story and the music, but they did mention that the Cats looked a little bit horrifying, and some thought that literally anyone could have designed better looking cats. Anyone, you say? So today, my Twitch chat is going to audition for Cats 2 the movie by drawing CGI cats that are even more realistic than the first Cats movie. Now, to do this, I'm giving Twitch chat control of my computer mouse, and they're going to draw an outline of a cat in this left box here. Then, this highly advanced program will use AI technology to convert what they drew into a beautiful cat. And now, with our drawing program ready, I've actually brought in the executive producer producer of the first Cats movie from Universal Studios, Simon the Cat, which you know, it does explain how that movie got made. In today's audition, we're going to draw Simon 10 different cats. And if we do this right, he'll have no choice but to hire us for Cats 2. We just have to draw the best cats of our lives. Go, draw a cat. Yeah. Okay, this is nice and slow. Now we can really hone in on the details of this cat. Is this the face? Are you guys working on the face or, or the upper body? Just flesh out this top area. I don't know how cat-like this will turn out. It's beautiful, everybody. And now, with our very first cat drawing completed, I started up the AI program, which will turn it into a cat. Okay, will this become a cat? Let's find out. <laughs> and <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Looks like your eyeball's kind of slipping down here a bit. It looks like a car drove over it. No, it looks like a beautiful cat. Well, his first cat looks a little bit run over, probably because Twitch chat just sort of scribbled everywhere. So for this next cat, let's start off by making a big square outline first. And then once the outline is done, we can fill it in with some eyeballs. Nice. So people can do other things as well, but roughly let's try to keep it moving down and to the right. All right, so now we start moving down to the left and now start moving up and left. No joke, this is looking beautiful for, for our standards, not generally. This is horrific. Let's get towards the eye, to the eye area, get two circles, and then we've got ourselves a beautiful cat. This new plan worked perfectly. We've now got an outline, so it's time to draw some eyeballs. This is one eye right there. Okay, so now move left, left, and try to close out that eyeball. This eyeball is way too big. Go up and then right and then down, and you can... Okay, connect it i think maybe we call it here that's probably eyeballs i think call it here call it here right call it here okay now the question is what does this cat look like oh god that's so much worse than the other one there's no eyes this was not only run over by a car it was run over by a cement truck now if there's one thing universal studio says it's that cats should have eyeballs there's no way they're gonna make cats too with no eyeballs so i tried to figure out how to make this program actually draw eyeballs so if we do eyeballs nose mouth and ears and we like roughly connect it <laughs> <laughs> what if really, really tiny eyes? And then you guys do this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We just need tiny ass eyeballs. So if we draw in really small little circles, then the AI program will know to turn those into cat eyeballs. And to make this go even smoother, we divided Twitch chat into two teams, where team one will draw the cat body outline and team two will draw the eyeballs. This is how cats were meant to be played. Go, give us kind of a circle to work with. Once they're in, Ziku, you take over and give us some eyeballs. And go. Okay, that's almost an eyeball. Just connect that. Connect that. That should be enough. Okay, that's the first one. Now move left. That's connected. That's literally an eyeball. Well, again, not literally, but by our standards, that is literally an eyeball. Okay, the plan works, but will it turn into a cat? Oh! Oh no! It's, like, it's more like a hamster with a stab wound. Bam, we're connected. Okay, Z Crew, you take over, get us some eyeballs. Okay, all right, I'm giving A Crew shit. Oh no, okay, A Crew, no, shit. Let's see how this beautiful cat looks. It does have an eyeball halfway there. This could work. Let's see what it looks like. Oh! 
That's recognizable as a cat. I mean, this is like a coherent cat face right here. And the cat looks like it's about to tell us the story of how it lost its other eye in the war. This cat also only has one eyeball, but at least he looks more like a wounded war cat rather than roadkill. Executive producer Simon does seem intrigued, but it's, it's hard to know what exactly is going on in that genius's head. Right now, he's probably thinking up the newest hit movie for Universal Studios. Got two eyeballs right now. I can't tell if it's going to be an eyeball. Not bad. Not good. But it's not bad. Okay, we've definitely gotten a lot better, but our eyeballs are still a scribbly, terrifying mess. So we developed a new strategy of splitting Twitch chat into four equally sized teams, and then each team is responsible for moving the mouse up, down, left, or right, all at the same time. This eyeball plan should allow us to draw a very small, very precise eyeball once our main cat outline is complete. Now let's draw some fucking cats. Once you've completed a square, then I will start a new tab. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go down and left, down and left. And connect it, connect it. Go up, up, up and right, up and right, up and right. Go down, why, how? You know what, fuck it, that's probably fine. Down and left, connect that, connect that, connect that. Maybe this is still an eyeball. How does our brand new cat look? It's kind of a cat. It is a koala, <laughs> yeah. Get back in, get back in. You're shading it, which is nice. No, move up, move up and close it, close it, close it, close it. Here is our cat. <laughs> it has three eyes. Nice. Where's the right crew? Where's the right crew? All I want is two coherent eyeballs. Yes! Two recognizable eyeballs. Cat! And now, after hours of practice, our final cat. Now, hit it. This is the way cats were meant to be played, and now start going south. We're now creating an eyeball. Connect it, connect it, connect it. Go down and right, down and right, down and right, down and right. Yes! Beautiful! Connect it, connect it. This unironically looks a little bit like a cat. Draw a mouth. Three, two, one. Code is now off. Arguably that's a cat, I'm not sure. But it's time. How does our tenth and final cat look? <laughs> it's beautiful! It's got two perfect eyeballs. It's got kind of a little mouth thing. I'm so proud to present Catfrica. We've improved so much over these 10 drawings, but now it's time for the real test. It's time for the actual final verdict from Universal Studios. Are we good enough for Cats 2? So I printed out our 10 cat pictures up on a presentation board and asked executive producer Simon to give us his final judgment. Our careers are on the line. Are our cats good enough? Does Universal Studios like them? Okay, okay come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 come on. Wait a minute. Yes. 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 yes! Simon loves our drawings. Universal Studios loves our drawings. Even the Universal Studios CEO loves our drawings. And that means that Twitch chat is officially hired to make Cats 2. We got straight to work and the early reviews are already rolling in with critics raving that Cats 2 looks even more realistic than Cats 1 and is the Citizen Kane of terrifying cat movies. The New York Times raves, whoever created these beautiful cats certainly knew what they were doing. So from all of us here at Universal Studios, thanks for watching our cat movies. Join us next week when we find out, can Twitch Cat beat Skyrim? Huh? Uh, nope.